Lesson 37, part 2. We're in part 2 today. Okay. Lesson 37, part 2. So yesterday was absolute value equations. We had to isolate the absolute value, right? We had to get the absolute value by itself. And then we had to set up how many equations? Not one, but two. two. The point was we set up two so that we would always have two answers. Okay, today it's inequalities. We're still going to isolate the absolute value, which in my examples it's already going to be done. And then we're going to set up two inequalities. Now, when we write two inequalities, key information right here. If the problem has a less than sign in it, so less than sign being that or that, right? If it has a less than sign, you're going to write an and statement. So we're going to write our two inequalities, which I'll teach you how, and we're going to use the word and in between them. If, however, it has a greater or than sign, greater or than sign, we're going to write an or statement. So that will be the key there. If you see less than, we're going to write and. If you see greater than, we're going to write and or or. Now, let's look at our first example. First question, same as yesterday. Is my absolute value by itself? Yeah. Is the absolute value the only thing on the left side? Yes. yes, because I don't have anything outside of it. It's just absolute value and whatever is inside of it. What do you mean outside? On this side or this side? Either way. Is there anything outside the absolute value okay, so on no. this side of the inequality? No. no, it's just absolute value and then the rest of the sign. So, okay. Once it's isolated, we're going to write two inequalities. Like yesterday, the first one is the given. So the first one I'm going to write is 5x greater than or equal to 20. I just drop off the absolute value. Then we have to pick a word. We have to either use and or or. Now, what type of sign is this? This is a... Greater than sign. Great or than sign uses what word? And I agree with what Jacob said. Or. Okay, and you can even think right here. Great or than if you want. But that's the trick I use. Like, you know, if you're trying to remember, do I use and or or? Great or than? It's not how you say great or than either, is it? It's greater than. It's going to be negative Okay, when we do the second one, what did we do yesterday? We kept whatever was in absolute value. And what did we do with the number on the right? This one was positive. This one is negative. Now, okay, guys, there's two things to change. Change positive 20 to negative 20 and change the greater than sign to a less than sign. Less than, or less than or equal to. Yeah, be consistent. This has equal to, so we're going to use equal to. Okay, so because it was a great or than sign, we use the word you or. We're always going to have two changes in the second statement. Change the inequality, change positive to negative. Now, solve them. Oh, all right. Divide by 5. All right. I already know what's here. Yeah. So 5x greater than or equal to 20. If it's 5 times x, I'm going to divide, divide by 5. And then the 5's cross out. And then, uh, so 20 times 20. 5's cancel. X, unless you have a reason to change it, carry your sign down. Greater than or equal to? 4. 20 divided by 5? It is 4. It is 4. Now, don't forget, what's the word? Carry the word down. The word is 
or. So carry that word down. And now solve the second one. Uh, this would be negative 4. If it's 5 times x, I'm going to five. divide by 5. I don't know what Fives cancel, it's still x. This time you carry this sign down, which is less than or equal to, and negative 20 divided by 5 was the negative 4. Do I have x by itself in both cases? Yes. Yeah. So this is x greater than or equal to 4, or x less than or equal to negative 4. Can we review what the graph looks like real quick? If I put 4, 0, and negative 4 on here, You remember what an OR graph looks like? Isn't it just two dots? two dots? Absolute value is two dots. Absolute value because it just, not absolute value, equations. Absolute value equations, what you did last night was just two dots because it was equals. This is greater than or equal to four. How do we do greater than or equal to four? Oh, it's the two. Right? Yeah. Greater than or equal to four means that four, I'm going to put what kind of circle? It says equal to, so we're going to Close it. We're gonna fill it in. So we're going to fill both of those in. And then where's greater than four? Oh. Arrow points to the yeah, right. right. So we're going to shade oh. to the right. Or now we have to do the other one. X less than or equal to negative four. So it's what kind of circle? A closed circle at negative 4. And then you go to the other way. And it's less than, which means we go the other way. Remember, or statements tend to shade outwards. So if we have less than a grand, then we have to do the shading. Or statements tend to go outwards. Questions there? Nope. This is easy. Okay. Well, so, let's look at this one. X plus 3, excuse me, absolute value of X plus 3 is, what is this sign? Greater. Less, less than. Less than 10. 10. Now, when we set this up, I always set up two inequalities here. And I'm debating which way I want to have you guys do this. Okay. When I set up my two inequalities, just like over here, the first one is going to stay the same. We're going to keep it as is. We're just going to drop our absolute value. So I'm going to say, I'm going to keep it x plus 3. I'm going to carry down my sign and carry down my positive 10. Now, I have to know a word. And or. And or. or. Last time we used or. It's going to be and. Why am I using and? Because it's less than. Okay. Because this is a less, less than sign, I'm going to use and. Now I'm going to write my second inequality. The part in the absolute value, you keep the same. same. So it's x plus 3. Positive 10 negative. becomes negative 10. And, you and the less than sign becomes a greater than, greater than sign. And now we're going to... We're going to solve them. Huh? How do we get x by itself? If it's x plus 3, 
the opposite of adding 3 is to subtract 3. If it's x plus 3, the 3's cancel. Carry down your less than. 10 minus 3? 7. 7. And I'm carrying that word down. This time, if it's plus 3, I subtract 3. Still greater than? Minus negative 10 minus 3. Negative 13. Negative what? 13. Negative 13. Now, I don't know if Math Excel will let you type an AND statement in like this. I think it already has it. It already has it, yeah. Okay. Well, because here's what I do say. Let's look at the graph, and then I'm going to show you a different way to write this answer. Okay. On my graph, I'm taking the shortcut. I need a 7. I like to put a 0. And then I'm going to put a... Negative 13. I'm being lazy today. Yeah, it's, 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 been a, it's, been a, it's been a quick week. A really quick week. Now, okay. With an and statement, remember you are going, we want to shade where we overlap. So now, where is x less than 7? How do we shade that? Um, 7, you go to the 7, it stays open, and it goes to the uh, right, right, right. Less than takes me to the yeah. left. Now, so officially, that goes that way, right? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to shade all the way, because remember, we're only shading where it overlaps. <laughs> so now, x greater than negative 13. We go to negative 13, we put in open circle, which way do we shade from negative 13? Uh, to, the right. yep. to the right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. To the right. See, Where's I, my shading going to overlap? At zero? Not just zero, but in general, the whole thing. in between. So my typical shading on end statement has the shading in between. Now, here's my thing. You need to know, they might make you set it up as an AND statement with X in the middle. So follow along, please. When you have X in the middle, generally you want to put the bigger number on the right, which what's the bigger number that we used? 7. Smaller number on the left, what's the smaller number? Negative 13. Now, this sign right here reads x less than 7. So we're going to put x less than 7. This sign here is for x greater than negative 13. But when you flip the x in 13, it becomes a less than. Those signs will always both be less than signs, especially if you have the bigger number on the right. Yeah, I think that's what they want right there. The one that you, the one that you just said. The one I circled. Yeah. Okay. And that's where I just don't remember exactly, but. They, are they, they're not really. I don't know. Sometimes they're pink, but most, some, most the other four okay. at the time are not. So I don't know. Either way, I don't know either. But okay. I just know I see the problem like that that I had to do like that. Okay. Questions on this one. Well, let's try two more. Then get you guys some work time, maybe. Trying. Okay. Absolute value of 2v minus 1 is something to 9. Uh, what is that symbol there? What's it say at the top of your notes? Did you write it in at the top of your notes? Uh, no, guys, I gave you, I tried to help you out. I wrote, you have to know which sign is which, guys. Period, end of statement. Oh. And I wrote them right next to 
Here's what less than oh, signs look like. Oh. Here's what greater than signs look like. So less sign. You have to know what's what. Period. End of statement. You can't be guessing. I'm sorry. What is that sign? Less than. That's what I said. Less than sign. You said both. Less than or equal to. Okay. This is a less than sign, which means what word am I going to use in the middle? And. This is going to be and. The last one I did, or this last one that we haven't gotten to? Okay, we well, can't ask about that. You're not allowed. We got to do this one. Now, is my absolute value by itself? Yes. Yeah, I have the absolute value. It's the only thing over here. So, what's my first inequality? Two v minus one less than or equal to nine. Does anything change? No. No. I use the word and because it's less than. Now, second one. You have to be able to tell me what changes, guys. Okay, so 2v minus 1, is that going to change? No. No, 2v minus 1 stays the same. Less than or equal to? It's going to change to greater than or equal to. 9? Negative 9. Changes to negative 9. And now we know how to solve, yes? Yes, I do. If it's 2v minus 1, we're going to add 1. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to have 2v less than or equal to 10. If I keep solving that, we're going to... If it's 2v, I'm going to divide by 2. Would be less than or equal to 5. And if it's 2v minus 1, again, I'm going to. Let's add 1. Back up the boat. Let's add 1. If it's 2v minus 1, we're going to add 1. And then you have negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Okay, I don't know why I said that. I don't know. You're I, saying I, wrong stuff, which is why I stopped you. I know, but I wrote it the other way, like how you're supposed to go like that. If it's 2 times V, we're going to divide by 2. So V divided by 2 is 2. Negative 4. Yep. 8 divided by 2 is 4. A negative divided by positive is a negative. Now, again with an and statement, I think they're going to require you to write your and statement with V in the middle. What's my bigger number I put on the right? 5. Smaller number on the left. Do you remember what I said about both signs? They'll both be less than, in this case, less than or equal to. Let's practice the graph real quick. V less than or equal to 5 means I'm going where? I'm going to go left of 5, yes. And then greater than or equal to negative 4 means I'm going right of negative 4. So we overlap between negative 5 and 4. So it's an and statement and the shading is between them. That'd be a problem. Okay. One last one. 
This one's weird, right? No, not really. Doesn't it? Just hold on. Absolute value of 2x plus 4 greater than 5. What's the first part I write? 2x plus 4 greater than 5. So we keep it as is, right? What's my word? 4. Four. Why? Okay, because this is a greater than statement. I know I'm using the word or. What's the second inequality I write? 2x plus 4 less than negative 5. Okay, still 2x plus 4. Inequality flips. So greater than becomes less than. And positive 5 flips. Positive 5 becomes negative 5. Then we solve these, yes? Don't divide by 2 first. If it's 2x plus 4, I'm going to subtract, subtract 4. So if we subtract 4, do the math, the 4s will cancel. We have 2x still. Whoops. What's what? It's, it's going to be Lesson 3-7, Part 2. It'll be in Math Excel. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't divide when I haven't subtracted yet. Hold it. Just stop. It did subtract. You said it was one. Okay, well, I haven't written it down yet, so I have not officially subtracted yet. 4 minus 4 cancels. 2x. Carry the sign. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now, okay. If it's 2 times x, the step we take is to divide by 2. So, 2's cancel. We have x. Carry down greater than. What is 1 divided by 2? I'll take a half. If you give the decimal of 0.5, that's fine as well. What's the word I'm carrying down? Or you need that word in the middle. And you have to solve the other one. If it's 2x plus 4, again, I'm going to... Carry the 2x. 4 minus 4 cancels. Carry the less than down. Negative 5 minus 4. Negative 9. Negative 9. If it's 2x, how do I get x by itself? Divide by 2. About 4.5. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. You can leave them as x greater than 1 half or x less than nine, negative 9 halves. Or you can use 0. 0.5 and negative 4.5. Okay, so I did it right. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, it's, it's math. Answers do not always have to be whole numbers. They can be fractions or decimals, right? Now we have to keep the, uh, the bar thingy? Right. Okay. So here's zero. I'm going to put one because I'm going to need my one half. Basically, you have to have negative four and a half and positive one half on your graph, right? Which negative four and a half is between negative four and five. One half is between zero and one. What kind of dots am I doing? Uh, a 
open. Okay. One of these. I wish that when well, then you get a four is it one half after that, like if you see that. Yeah. X greater than one half says I'm gonna go where? To the right. To the right. X less than negative four and a half says I'm gonna go left. 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 Whoa. Okay. Lesson three point seven. Part two in Math Excel. You have a little bit of work time. A little bit. We should use it. <laughs>